Welcome to the channel guys, it's your old pal Parmelcast here and today we're jumping back into a little bit more esoteric Japanese territory. Um, I know this has been a tangent lately but my god are there some good bands from over there. Um, yeah, this one I think is going to be a little bit more along the lines of the the craziness of um, Maximum the Hormone. Uh, a little bit less straight up and down, you know, rock and, and metal like some of the other bands like Love Bites and, and, and Bandmade. These guys the way I understand it are going to be a little bit more funk groove oriented. Um, so yeah, I, that's about all I know. I, I don't even know how to pronounce the, the name. I'm going to take a gamble and say Gikaric Spin. Um, it could be Gikaric Spin. I'm, I'm assuming Gikaric Spin makes more sense, but hey, who am I to judge, right? So um, as, as being that I don't know anything about them, except for the fact I'm pretty certain they're an all girl band as well. Let's take a listen. Let's jump right in. Both feet, baby. Gakarik spin. Ah, come on. Oh, my God. Okay, before we get into the chorus, I mean, I come for the funk, but I stay for the joy. <laughs> just, there's nothing better than just seeing like an attitude on people's faces when they're playing it, that they're having more fun than you are, you know? My God, just some of those smiles. It just, it just, it just tickles me in just the right way. Um, I mean, let's, let's talk about just the skill level here. These guys are off the charts. They're really good. Tight as a button, just, um super creative i mean you know funk is nothing new but maybe it is in japan i don't, <laughs> I don't know i doubt it i mean I, I see a lot of comparisons here bass wise with um the bass player from maximum the hormone from the small amount of you know interaction i've had with those guys as well um i really love the characteristics of the vocals like a lot of spoken word kind of thing it's not what I'd call rap. It's kind of more of like a spoken word energy that sort of occasionally flexes into like a, a melodic sort of vocal line. Um, and I'm assuming more singing's coming, but there's um, the, the energy to this is just fun. It's so good. Let me go back a little bit because mostly just because I don't want this to end. <laughs> uh, and I mean, uh, you know, say what you will about like smashing instruments and stuff like that. I feel in this context. <laughs> um it, it, it just matches if you're if you're if you're not doing anything rebellious musically then you have no business smashing instruments um but i feel like there's an energy to this that, that's just like um brazen you know there's something to it i really dig it let's go back a little bit more <laughs> Drama sings, cool. Hang on a second. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Yeah. 
Just that part there, that little conversation with herself, there's just such a cool energy to that that's like just young and edgy. And God, I hate to use this word in context, but hip. Ugh, I shut. <laughs> As a person who pretty much works around 20 year old people, like I get it. You know, you can't say words like that, but but it's exactly what it is. Like if you distill it down, there's there's an authenticity to the vivacious youthfulness and energy of this that if anybody else tried to do it would seem forced right but this little the little attitude you know it's just got like fuck off boomer energy <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't like to swear on this channel, but sometimes language is, needs to be used to express yourself. So, I don't know what it is. There seems to be this energy with pop funk, sort of, or, or, or rock metal funk or whatever in Japan, that somehow gets distilled down to this energy of, I like to call it Saturday, Saturday morning cartoon vibes, right? And there's not a goddamn thing I can think of that literally ties that vibe to Saturday morning cartoons, but it just has that energy. Like you kind of half expect like, you know, S Speed Racer and like, you know, um, uh, oh God, I can't think of any right now, but you know, like, like something like popping up on the screen, there's like a, like a seventies cartoon energy, you know, you, sh you expect Shaggy and Scoob to roll by in, in the, in the Scooby van, you know, whatever. Um, but it doesn't like, there was nothing in Saturday morning cartoons that had this energy. It just has that eating cereal, watching cartoons vibe, you know, I don't know how, how else to describe it, but I love it. It's it's sort of like a, this weird nostalgic nature, but in a really fresh way. Uh -oh. oh, come on. Come on. And now it's a now it's a show band. It's like suddenly it goes Tower of Power or somebody, you know, Earth, Wind and Fire. Like I need to know everything there is to know about these guys. I know you're out there. I know you're standing for these guys and you're just dying to jump on the keyboard and tell me where they're all from, how they all met. There has to be some sort of music college connection here or something because they're not, their energy is such that they seem like they um, formed out of like a, a knowledge of music rather than just a bunch of kids who got together. You know, you don't get to this level of esotericness without having a foundation of, of proper, um, music tuition, if that makes sense. Um, at least not, not in, not that I've ever seen. So, but yeah, that energy there just has a whole lot of, um, those sort of funk jazz show bands from, you know, like the early eighties and stuff like that, that sort of energy, particularly with that synth sound. <laughs>
Come on. I'm here to tell you, man, if I'm ever going on tour and I need a, a, another guitar player on stage, it, in whatever capacity it might be, I want to hire this this lady. <laughs> She's so awesome. Dude, her energy is just stellar. In fact, you know what? I'd rather just go on tour where I walk on stage and I go, hey, everybody, here's the show. And then I walk off stage and these guys come on and play their songs. <laughs> What a song. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. All right. Um, hang around after the ad break and see if I've got any more things to say. <laughs> hey, guys. This video was made possible by Enchroma. One in six guys and one in 200 women are colorblind. And if that happens to be you, there's something you can do about it. Click the link in the description. It'll take you to Enchroma's website where you can get a free eye test. And while you're there, maybe pick up some corrective lenses. They've got styles to suit everybody and a 60 day money back guarantee. So you got really nothing to lose. And while you're there, use the code chaos in checkout to get 10% off. Tell them Primal Chaos sent you. Yeah, okay. So I didn't know what to expect with that one. Um, I mean, I never do. That's the whole point of this reaction channel, right? But normally I'll go in with some kind of an idea and I knew that these guys would be a little bit more topsy-turvy in in the in that I, I'm pretty sure they've been um, recommended off the back of of maximum the hormone and we all know that they're chaos wrapped up in a bundle you know um but i i didn't expect the caliber of playing the composition the just the the exuberance and the the youthful energy of of the performance and obviously the the character as human beings as well you know um it just it's almost left me a little speechless because it, it you know I'd sort of gotten to a point in my life where I felt like if there was anything musical, I'd heard it, you know, everything seemed derivative of something else. And don't get me wrong, this is derivative of, of a bunch of different influences, right? I mean, I called out show band stuff and, and, you know, funk groove sort of things, you know, the Bootsy Collins style jumping around while playing bass kind of thing, you know? Um, and, you know, I mean, to a degree, I, I assume the the bass player from Maximum the Hormone is influenced by Flea to a lot, to a, to a high degree. I, I assume these guys may be influenced by Maximum the Hormone, but I'm sure that the diversity of their influences is, comes from a whole bunch of different sources. Like I said, I believe these guys have a, a, a bedrock of, of musical tuition that would have exposed them to a lot of cool influence. I, I'd have to guess uh, based on what I just saw. Um, and they're using every facet of that and just, pushing it through their prism to take that sort of um, show band funk rock kind of thing and somehow transmute that into uh, like a, you know, an exuberant, youthful, edgy, cocky, um, uh, just ultra hip sort of young person energy, you know? I think that's part of the beauty of, of living in the world today. Like the internet, say what you will about it as far as like it's, I feel like social media is crucifying the ability for people to relate to each other on a meaningful level. Um, but I also believe that having access to unlimited amounts of data and influence, um, it breeds genius like this, right? You, you can, you can, literally you know if some old person who you respect says you should be listening to these guys you don't have to go hunting through a record store and stumbling upon it three three years from now and going oh i think this was the band that steve told me to listen to you know you can literally jump on your phone immediately and you can look at performances and you can sort of cross-reference that against live reaction live live recordings and 
and listen to the influences of those acts. And there's these spider webs of influence that can generate out from a single vector that, um, you know, if you, if you look through all of the lines of like diverging paths, it seems really complex, but from the perspective of, of people like this, it's just, it's just like, Oh, that's interesting. And I'm going to jump from there to there and I'm going to listen to this and boy, I really want to play like that person. And then you take that and you distill that through your, like this weird sponge that's got all of these different facets and you end up with something unique. That's the sum of many, many parts, you know, it's almost like genetic lineage and the genetic soup is getting more and more convoluted now because of access to data. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, but what I was getting at before is I was kind of at a point in my life where I was getting a bit jaded about how, you know, I wasn't interested in finding new music because I had the songs and, and the bands that I liked and I was happy to just keep going over and over them. And that's the danger you get into. People tend to find the passion for music when they when they hit their teenage years, right? And you start to rebel and you start to try and find self-identification. And the way that you do that is through the bands that you like and the clothes that you wear and and, you know, it's it's the first time as, as a human being, you really get to say, this is who I am. This is who I want to project on onto the world, right? Um, and so, you know, a lot of times people take that step and they never evolve out of that step. It always is just like, you're the guy who's got tattoos from the bands you liked when you were 16. And therefore you're kind of locked into this spiral of like, that's the only bands I'm ever interested in. And, and to be fair, not everyone takes the time to really appreciate music. A lot of people, everybody likes music, but there's certain people who actively seek out new music and there's certain people who like songs. They don't know how the sausage is made. They're happy to like the songs they like, and then that's it. And I think I was getting to the point where that was who I was becoming, where it was like, you know, I don't really need to learn new stuff. I'm happy with the stuff that I've got. Um, and doing this reaction channel to me, the most fundamental underpinning thing about it that's really rocked my world is forcing myself to be exposed to acts like this. Um, and realizing that the world didn't stop when I stopped appreciating music in general, right? It kept going. And there's passion to be found here. Like in, in my band made reactions, the amount of comments I get from people who are in their fifties or sixties who used to be in bands or used to be really passionate about music, um, discovered band made and suddenly it's rejuvenated their love of music because you've got influences that sort of relate to what their passions were 30 years ago. You've also got amazing playing, excellent production, um, excellent arrangement and composition that's easily relatable. And all of a sudden, that's just this catalyst for you going, my God, music still exists. And I kind of want to be a part of it again, you know? Um, and that's kind of been the journey for me with this reaction channel. I've discovered so many amazing bands I would have written off because their vocals were too harsh or, you know, they were uh, part of a, a tangent that I just never really bothered to get into, you know? Um, and I feel like there's this melting pot of influence and, and amazing ability that's just bubbling away in Japan right now. And that's why I've sort of gone on a little bit of a, of a sojourn into, into the Pacific, you know, um, and just sort of like, I'm checking out this sort of stuff, you know, because there's, there's really gold to be found there and they're operating on an, on a whole other level there, you know? Um, yeah. So that's basically all I got to say. Look, I was a bit of waffling on, but I hope that relates to somebody else's experience out there. I'm sure that there's plenty of guys out there, uh, guys and gals who are sort of in the same position as me, who sort of maybe moved on from music a little bit and just went through the motions of liking music or playing music or whatever for the longest time and have recently discovered a new passion for it through, um, through like, uh, discovering, you know, artists like this. Yeah. But yeah, if you feel like I've brightened your day at all, hit me up with a, with a coffee. I'd appreciate that. All these videos get demonetized. So every little bit helps um like share subscribe follow don't forget to hit the bell um if you want to hear more of this stuff because i guarantee there'll be more and man thanks again for your comments let me know i want i want all the details on this band I appreciate you guys taking the time more than you could imagine so thanks again i've been primal chaos and i'll catch you on the next one